Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. I'm just grabbing myself a little bit of a snack here. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is delicious. Coconuts, skin and all. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, well, look at what we've got going on here. Holy crap. I finally found some buckets. A spit bucket. And we got another spit bucket. And we got the water collector, which you can see the little water drops up there. That'll eventually collect. And I think I'm having a bit of a glitch because this bucket, when the fire went out the last time for both of these, the sea bucket, or the, what do you call it, the uh, sea water, it didn't disappear. So see if I go like this and I chuck that into the water. See, this is the bucket of seawater. If we take that and we put it on these, then um, it's supposed to turn it into fresh water, but it apparently hasn't. So let's. Cool. That is still a bucket of seawater. Yeah. So this here, I'm waiting for these to beep or whatever. And look at this. I got a barrel. Now, I'm going to teach you guys a wicked awesome trick. Fill your inventory full of crap. Whatever you want, whenever you go exploring, and when you find something like the buoy, or the tire, or the barrel, or the next thing for me to get, ooh, the next thing for me to get is the big red door. I'm not putting a door on this until I get the container door. I started bringing one back, but I dropped it in the middle of the ocean, and it was too deep for me to pick up. But, when you're sitting in here, whatever it is you're looking for, right click on it so highlight it right click on it and here i'll show you actually um let's do uh let's just throw one of these on the ground okay so you're in your boat and i can't see it <laughs> maybe we can see it a little bit better right there okay so you can see here now if you push backwards as you're going you can carry this and depending on the size, like a barrel, you can carry it in front of you. The door, depending on how it glitches through you, you can carry it like this as well with your boat. So that is how I got the barrel back. Next thing to try to get is the big, big red door. Um, so let's get out of here. Pick up the compass. Now, we have been going nuts. I've spent probably about six hours off camera and um, got this bloody barrel back so that we could actually make this um, fire pit thing. Uh, the hobo stove. But, um, let's see. We've got the flare gun. One, two, three, four, five machetes plus the one in the inventory. Two, three, four compasses, like including the one that we have. A whole, whole bunch of lashings, same as before. Oh, I got two more machetes right here. Damn. Uh, I've got myself a bunch of bandages, vitamins, antibiotics, I got morphine, some cloth, uh, a label maker, which no freaking clue how I'm going to do that. I got six axes plus the one on me. And then we get over to this stuff. Look at all the plank scraps. Look at all the wood. All the corrugated. We're going to be building lots out of the corrugated. Um, one thing I do want is that. And... First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna, okay, you know what, let's sleep. Just so it becomes daylight. Right now, let's get this sleep going on because I want this to be nice and bright for you guys so you can see what the hell's going on. And this is why I need this friggin' water thing to work. Because see this here? I can't take the thing off. Uh, there we go, okay, so see? What is that? bucket of seawater. So see if I go to drink that, guess what's going to happen to me? <coughs> so I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, this one here, nothing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. So let me, let me find some water, not water, but some coconuts, and uh, once I get those, I'll bring you guys back when it's daytime, and we'll build the hobo, the hobo stove. Any coconuts? None there. Okay, I'll bring you guys back in a sec. 
Oh, and wait, before I go, uh, I found a couple of lanterns. I'm hoping I can find one more. We can put it over here. I've got one at the front so you can see it from that side over there. And I want one here and one here so you can see them from both directions over there. So I haven't actually done any other building, but I'm gonna, uh, we're going to do a lot of building in the next couple of episodes, as you can see here. we got lots and lots of wood and everything like that. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, we're back. And I got the stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, that's stupid fruit. So let's see what we can do here. We want to do the hobo stove. Fire pit. Barrel scrap, craft, put that thing right there. Oh my god. So now we can throw things on top of here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, um, I had the coconut and the two fish on the smoker. The coconut went bad. We have smoked pilchard and smoked sardine. So we have food now, uh, which we're doing pretty good on right now. So. We have uh, the hobo stove finally. We have ourselves the water collector uh, with the bucket on it and the spit, the fire. We have the smoker. We have the regular spit. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to make this rock, tarp, and a bucket. Okay, this, we're going to move over here closer to the garden. Um, I don't want to go too close though because I'm planning on extending the garden. So let's go right here. So I'm hoping that this will take care of my water situation because with this glitch, I'm running real low on water. Um, I keep running over there to get coconuts and even them, they're coming far, few and far between. So I don't know if it's a glitch or what's happening with it, but I can't seem to get, see it says bucket of seawater. And eventually, I don't know if it just like this here. And it says, bucket of seawater so I don't know what the hell is going on we'll have to wait and see what's happening with all that but let's get right into it guys like you look at all the stuff around here we've got more than enough goodies to be able to do the whole upper floor um, I'm gonna grab just a whole bunch of these right there and let's get that out of here there. Now, let's go build something. Uh, grab a bunch of these too. Oh yeah, and I'll need my hammer. Perfect. I got a bunch of lighters and stuff like that now. Uh-huh, we got that. So I believe we will be ready to go. Now, let's do... How do we want to do this? We're going to be doing housing. Uh, oh crap. Gotta have the hammer. Uh huh. And we are going to be doing floors. Corrugated. Craft. So let's go. We have enough metal now. We can do that one there. Let's see, we've got. Oh crap. This guy right here. Oh yeah. And let's make another one. Oop. Floor. Corrugated craft. Right here. Perfect. Now I think what we're gonna wanna do. Uh let's craft. Hmm. We're gonna wanna do a wall. wonder if we should do let's get out of here for a second let's go back and get some planks as well and then we'll have everything we need on here we've got four of these there we go look at this So one thing we're doing right here, we'll do another floor, but we're going to do the driftwood uh, plank, sorry, right there. So that's going to match that. Uh, let's do another one of those. 
uh, plank. And that's going to go right here. And now, this is their full metal one. Uh, floors. Steel craft. Right there. This is like our uh, holy crap kind of thing. I might even put the container door here if I can. And then that way it, uh, it's all open so that way wind will be able to go through and we can crouch down and kind of hide in uh, you know in a little corner and avoid a hurricane if it ever came to that. So we got ourselves some planks here. Now I think what we should do is fill in... I wondered if... Uh, I think what I'll do is right here we gotta do arches from corrugated craft right there now if we go down here please tell me that we can do the uh, foundation yes okay so we can keep going out this way and do another foundation right here And I think this is where we will branch out of the again, like this. Now, what I'm curious though, see I want to be able to put, uh, let's do another foundation here. There, yep. And another one. Right there. Okay, now, when we go up here, see I want to be able to go up here, we have this little outside section, might do more out here too, so we'll do another one here as well, and then over on this side, I think this is where I want it to go up to the second floor, so can we do craft uh, floors? and corrugated craft yes it can connect so we're going to do that there and i don't think we have enough on us to do one more do we no so we got that let's grab what we have left that's uh one and then we only have what two pieces left so we might be able to do corrugated uh half wall we'll grab these guys might be able to do a half wall. Grab a whole bunch of these. I'll go back off camera again eventually and uh, get some more because we're going to need it. We're going to need it. Let's do another foundation right there. Perfect. Now I really want to connect these. So right here, so we're going to put one here and one here, but I think we only have enough for one more corrugated, yeah. But, bam, right there. So now, how can we, I want to know, can we put stairs from here? Oh shit, um, I wonder. I go back to here. Am I gonna lose those pieces? Yep, I most certainly am. That's okay, we'll find more, we'll find more. Now, oh crap. Close that, go there. Oops, I want that. I want to craft here, stairs, plank, craft. Can you not connect? You will there. But why not here? Why will you not snap there? Oh. Because it's too far away. You bugger. But if you snap here, we still get up the stairs. We can't even walk up the stairs normally. Okay.
that can be a bit of an issue. Uh, not really. I'll have to jump to get up here, but I guess we could have left these the way they were. Yeah, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. Okay, now. We got this beautiful palm frond wall. Um, can you do palm frond floor? I know it sounds really weird, but no, you can't. So it's either plank. Uh, good one there. Nope. Floors. Plank. Craft. Right there. Look at this. How sexy, beautiful, awesome is this? Now what do we got left here? We got two corrugated and then we got uh, the rest of the tarp. The tarp would be pretty cool to do up on the top. More for the reason of um, like having people recognize it. Because, you know, being all out of all these materials, it's kind of camouflaged from a dis distance. So if we could have, um, you know, this kind of be open Maybe put a couple half walls up, or um, what kind of stuff do we have here where we can do, uh, let's see, a wall, plank, plank, tarp, corrugated. Let's see, I kind of don't like the, uh, the half wall. Well, that's not too bad. But see, it puts those things up, which I don't really care for. Because I only want it to be so high so that it, I don't fall off. Uh, but this will have to do. This will have to do for now. Okay. Corrugated half wall. Craft. There. So if we could put the uh, the light up here, that will give us some sort of view. Oh man, we're going to die if we watch, don't watch out. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe we'll change that if we have to. Let's grab a bunch of the tarps because now that we've got our um, water still, let's um, let's actually grab. We got four left. Let's go over here. Uh, we will craft the water still. Close. Oh, I only have the uh, sea still, sea water. That's, well, water collector bucket. And that's still got uh, water in it. Let's see. If I go here. I can't actually uh, take anything from that. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, we got quite a few palm fronts. Wait, we got 12 of those. Oh, yeah, that's one more thing. I added an, um, a mod so that I can have up to, I think it was 24 items per slot. Because, um, yeah, I'm not dealing with that crap. I can't see. Of me, after the amount of time that I put in to get all the stuff that I have now, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> It took for freaking ever. It took me about three hours to find my first bucket. So, yeah, that was the thing. You know what? This area here, if we can craft up... Uh, hang on, let me get the hammer. And if you guys want to know how to put the mods in, let me know. And um, I'll either just tell you or I'll give you a, a, a tutorial video or something like that. Corrugated container, steel, steel. I always thought that the uh, wood stick wall. See if we could do something like this here. So we have this nice, um, you know, breezeway, we'll call it. Uh, let's do another one, but we'll do a half wall here. Or wait, let's do a window. Uh, here. Nope, not there, right there. And then we'll do another one exactly the same right here. Window. Wood stick, craft. Nope, right there. 
And we'll do a full wall right here. Uh, wood stick, craft, right there. Let me go grab the rest of this wood. Boom. Yeah, we might have to fix this. Maybe what we could do is have uh, stairs come up here and then have the stairs go up here. I don't know if you'd be able to get underneath the stairs or not. Yeah, it's something we can look into. Okay, let's do here. And a wall. We're gonna do a half wall here. Right there. Nice, nice, nice. And another full wood wall. Right here. And then like a nice window wall right here. Perfect. And I think we'll do two solid walls right here to finish it all off. Oh, oh and we're gonna have just the right amount of wood. One there, and wood wall, craft, right there. Look at this. This is beautiful. So now if we take this, say put it uh, right around here. It's like it's on its own little timer. There, we have our, uh, our wall lit up in there. We've got this one lit up over here, which now we're gonna take this. Uh, let's quickly head upstairs, cause you never know, man. Something might come by late at night. And See, put this here. I want to make sure I don't go too far out. Look at the horizon. Drop. Oh, you bastard. There we go. Alright, so we're all lit up from a distance. We're going to definitely have to put up some sort of guardrails around here. Um, I can collect that off camera. Um, to be able to build some more stuff. And like I said, when I'm out running around, I'm going to get that big container door. And then we can, um, you know, get some more sticks. I can, now that I've got the higher, the better inventory, when I go out, I can hack down a whole bunch of these um, palm trees and take home my, you know, 60 sticks instead of taking home, uh, you know, 12 sticks. So it makes it a little bit better for me to be able to get the resources I need in order to be able to um, make things for you guys that are going to be somewhat interesting rather than me just kind of dicking around going, okay, well, let's put up one wall. Uh, Alright, I don't know really what to do in the rest of the episode today, because, well, that's all the stuff we have. Uh, so, yeah, we got our hobo stove. We've got our smoker. We've got our fish here. And apparently this actually keeps your food a lot longer, so you don't have to worry about it going bad. Uh, food's not too much of the issue. It's the damn water. And as you can see here, it's not doing so well. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, let's see. What are you? It's just a bucket. If I grab that. Nope, it won't let me. So that's empty and it's meant to be. This one here, I can't, I can't actually do anything with. I hit the uh, E button to interact or I hold the mouse button. It won't let me do anything, so I'm assuming that needs to be full before I can even touch it. Um, yeah, my water bottle is empty, so I'm. Uh, that's the only thing that's really hurting me right now. Uh, let's see, where are we at for time on the video here? Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. So I say we call the episode here. We've got quite the house going. We're starting on our second floor. I'll go off camera again, guys, and I'm hoping I'll release the other video tomorrow on Sunday. And uh, we'll be able to do a little bit more building, hopefully get the uh, roof on this done, and uh, potentially redesign the way the stairs are. Maybe what we can do is um, leave those where they are, but move these stairs back one more, or push them in one more, so that you actually come up here, and then you walk around, and you can go up the stairs here, like this. So there you go, guys.
Oh wow, this is freaking awesome. Actually, you know what? I wonder if this, because this was actually out in the water. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I think I broke something. I guess the water's a little too shallow. Better go get the morphine, guys. My arm's all messed up. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure to hit the like button, it really helps me to grow. And if you want to see a video every single day, then be sure to hit the sub button as well. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.